guys. Amber Haynes here, founder of Unimpaired Dry Bar, downtown Davenport. I am just here today going to showcase a couple of our drinks for you, kind of explain what we have here. So we will start with well, number one, this is my very favorite. This is the Slamber. I have to start with that. That is my absolute favorite. It has a little bit of grapefruit juice in it, which I'm normally not the biggest fan of, but mixed with our, our Lotus Energy drink gives us a little boost. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right. So I'm going to start by demonstrating our smoked Tampedo to you. I have already muddled up raspberries, mint. We have some simple syrup in here. We have our livener. Everything's already muddled together, a little bit of kombucha on top. First, we're going to start with smoking some lavender right here. We'll smoke the lavender, and then we will actually infuse our glass with it. There we go. There we go. Get that glass all nice and smoky so when you take your very first sip of the, of the drink, then you can get all the aromas right of that lavender. It's wonderful, you guys. Wonderful, wonderful. So as soon as that's all smoked up, we'll lift her up of there. Ooh. Oh, it smells so good. And there we go. And like I said, that has kombucha. It's good for your gut health. All kinds of good, delicious yummies in there. And like I said, the drink, the glasses, has the aroma of the, the lavender. It just, it really makes you feel good. Also, what I wanted to talk about is some of our zero, zero beers. A lot of people... I don't think that realize that we have a slew of beer. Most non-alcoholic beer contains up to 0.5% of alcohol, which they say that even 0.4% is 10 times the amount that's in Robitussin. Um, that being said, we still, we still like to stick to the non-alcoholic alcohol here. So we want all zero, zero. So we did find a, a, a company called Hairless Dog. Don't you love that name? It's pretty... It's pretty clever. And they make 0, 0.0 beers. This one is our IPA, which I just had a gentleman in here on Friday night. And he said that before he quit drinking, he drank a lot of IPAs. And he said he couldn't even tell the difference between this one and a regular one. So that would be cool. You guys could come in and check it out and see if, see if you can't tell the difference. We have a Citra Lager, which is one of our most popular a coffee stout, which that one's pretty good. I'm not, I've never been a beer drinker in my life. So I, I don't personally drink any of them, but some people, some people like it. Uh, this one's a black ale. Heineken makes a zero zero now, which is pretty cool. Budweiser also came out with a zero zero. Um, what I hear of this is it's almost, it tastes like an ultra is what a lot of people say. So that's, that's pretty interesting. And then, of course, we have our German beer, Bitburger. That is also a zero, zero beer. So if you'd like to try any of those, see see if you like the taste of it. Maybe you can just alternate a couple of the zero, zero beers and uh, with your regular beers if you so choose, or let's just stick with the zero, zeros. Also, we have here some of our liquors. I know that most people have heard me talk about Liars, which is a company out of Australia that we work with. They make all of our non-alcoholic spirits. That being said, they taste exactly like their regular alcoholic counterparts. So this one is called American Malt. This one, this one tastes like a Jack Daniels to me. So this is what we make our Jackless Coke out of. Just simply this and Coke. And it tastes exactly, exactly like a Jack and Coke. This one is our white cane. We put that in several of our several of our drinks. It goes in our Mai Tai. It, it just, it really gives you the adult tasting flavor that an alcoholic beverage gives to you. So it's a, it's a little bit different. That's, that's being said, if you're looking for that adult beverage taste. Um, we also have dark cane spirit, which that's a, like a dark rum. We have a spiced spirit, which that tastes exactly like Captain. So if you like Captain and Cokes, but you don't like the hangover the next day, we got you. We got you completely covered. So... We have a whole, a whole slew of different kinds of drinks down here. If you guys ever want to come check us out right now, our hours are 4 PM to 10 Tuesday through Saturday until some of the COVID restrictions are, are released a little bit. And then we will be opening up more. So we are, we are very excited. We hope you guys can come check us out. We have pizzas, pastas, salads, any topping that you can put on a pizza, 
you can go ahead and put it on a salad or a pasta salad if you're if you're doing keto diet or low carb anything like that they're they're delicious we also have a cauliflower crust pizza that's gluten free most people don't know that we have that and it, it also is delicious i actually prefer it over our, our regular crust so just a little bit something different a uh, different new place if you'd like to come check us out children are allowed to come in our kitchen is open until 10 p.m and that is how long that they're allowed to be here after that, when we are open for later hours, it will be 18 and up past the 10 o'clock period. We're just super excited, guys. We hope you can come check us out. Amber, can you talk about your live music schedule? Is yeah. there music ever, can people expect it every Saturday or how does that work? Yeah, absolutely. So Tuesday night, we have karaoke. It starts at seven o'clock. We have a pretty good turnout for that. There's a lot of people that come like to sing sober karaoke. <laughs> So Wednesday we have our open mic night, which is a lot of fun. We have musicians from all over that come down and they just jam out, have a good time, and everyone's welcome to come and either join in if you'd like, or you can just sit back and have a cocktail and enjoy the ambiance and watch. Thursday nights we have live trivia, which that is pretty popular. Once a month we have a theme trivia night, which could be breakfast club or anything like that. It's, it's pretty popular as well. And then we have live entertainment on Fridays and Saturday nights, either Friday or Saturday right now until, until COVID restrictions allow us a little bit more. We do have acoustic acts. So all of your local musicians that you're used to saying, seeing downtown at Kilkenny's or any of the other bars down here, we also have them play for us. They come in here Friday night or Saturday from 7 to 10 for now. So we hope that you guys come and check them out. And then uh, for those that haven't heard your story, can you talk about why you decided to open a dry bar? Yes, absolutely. I am sober myself going on four years. There are um, several members of my family that struggle with alcoholism. So it has cut very deep for me. Um, I still like to go out. I still like to go dancing. I still like to, to have a, a fun cocktail just without the alcohol. So those are the things that I normally do at home is make non-alcoholic drinks. And I thought to myself, why can't we just have a place that everyone can go to, anyone can go to, and they can dance, they can listen to music, order a drink, eat with your family, just an environment basically is what we're trying to provide here. And then talk about uh, why you chose downtown Davenport or the Quad Cities for your first location you're expanding. So talk about what made you decide to open here first and maybe some of the new uh developments you have going on yeah well i'm from davenport originally i live in bluegrass now i love downtown davenport so when i go out the first place i honestly think of is going downtown i like to go to the office and go dancing or like i said kilkenny's carriage house any of these places so i thought why can't we be right down smack dab in the middle of them so people can pass by us they can stop here you can stop and and have a drink to sober up if you'd like in the middle in the middle of your of your night. So we just thought it would be real important just to be right down here on Barro. Our second location is in Iowa City, which is just about a block or two from the from the school, which is very exciting. We're we're so excited about that as well. Great. Do you know when your Iowa City location is opening? Um, we are hoping to be open by August first. So when all the kids get back to school, very excited about that. Great. That's all the questions I have. So unless you have something else you want to talk about, we can close up. Um, I think we, I think I talked fast enough for all of us. <laughs> Thanks, Amber. Thank you so much, guys. I sure appreciate it.